Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are doing the first third of a case of 2016-17 Panini Donner's Optic Basketball. This is uh, Pikachu number 13. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting to the action. On a Wednesday night, back from 4th of July. Hopefully everyone has their fingers intact. Gerald coming up big with the Kings. Last spot mojo. And big thanks to everybody for digging deep tonight and making this happen. I know Andy kicked things off by buying some teams getting things going, and everybody eventually followed suit. So thank you very much, everyone. We are kind of towards the end of our evening. This doesn't have to be the last break of the night, though. Um, I feel like we can fill up that TriStar break pretty easily if you want. So let's try to get that going. All right, so let's split these up into thirds. All right. So we're going to roll the die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. We're going to do this side right here. So these will be reserved for some other time. We'll put the Wolverine claw marks on there just so we know that from the same case so they don't get mixed up. All right, so here we go. One autograph, uh, autograph per box on average. Should be a lot of parallels in here too. A lot of parallels in there. Stack all these up. Good luck, everyone. A lot of exciting, a uh, lot of exciting things happening in basketball, right? What does everyone think? What does everyone think? What's the what's the biggest storyline so far, and what is what is the biggest storyline to come? Paul George going to the Thunder. That's pretty big. Gordon Hayward finally signs, and he goes to Boston. I mean, is that enough? Is that enough for the Celtics to uh, get to the finals? Have the Cavs been doing enough? You know, I don't know. Have they been doing enough? Or is everyone just throwing in the towel already? Hopefully not. Just throwing in the towel, just saying the Warriors are going to do it again? Andre Roberson re-signing with OKC. Is that the big story of the year? Yeah, Rudy Gay wants to go to OKC too. They could, they could do, they could, you know, Oklahoma can make a little noise. Carlos saying Celtics trying to trade for Marcus All. A lot of interesting things going on right here. I mean, all right, first box, there's Chris Paul. Who's in Houston now? How much of a difference does that make in Houston? See a lot of crazy moves happening. George Hill not staying with Utah, right? Tristan Thompson still in Cleveland. 164 out of 199 for the Cavs and Jacqueline. Or are we just going to give... They are who he thought they were? Mike Conley and Denzel Valentine. Time for you to shine, Denzel. He's still in the Bulls, right? I can't keep track anymore. Uh, Chicago Bulls autograph, Jeremy 33. We got Jeff Green, red, Orlando Magic, 34 out of 99. That'll go to Rick Hunt. Kobe Bryant, champ is here. Iguodala back with the Warriors. Ben Simmons, we'll save these cards, 76ers. Uh, Yesenia Lugo, those actually resell pretty well. Eric Bledsoe, even just the base cards. Eric Bledsoe out of 199 
For the Suns, that'll go to Michael Tran. Ah, for the Pistons, we've got... I never know how to say his name, his last name. Benigi, I think, made the G silent, I think. 37 out of 49. For the P Pistons, blue, I can't even say Pistons. Paul Harris. Sam Decker coming in the other way to uh, Los Angeles. That should be interesting, too. That was box one, pretty solid. We'll sleeve all these up. We've got the time. I'll top load all of these uh, parallels a little bit later, but we'll sleeve them right now just to keep them safe. All right, so there's your first autograph, Denzel Valentine. Uh, who did you see play in college, Tommy? Sorry. Oh, my Lakers, on the other hand, I think I think the Lakers are pretty much done. So their big move, obviously, they moved uh, D'Angelo Russell and uh, Timothy Mozgov. Oh, you saw Denzel Valentine play. Nice. Yeah, well, it, I mean, I, I actually do remember his Michigan State. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Denzel Valentine, it's time for him to shine. Um, Lakers sending away D'Angelo Russell which I was fine with, especially to move that Mozgov tray to open up the cap space to see what kind of fairy tale, fairy tale, what fairy tale dreams can come true in the summer of 2018. I think the Lakers are planning for that free agency window. Um, but Brooke Lopez is the better of the Lopez's. He's, he's a pretty serviceable. I mean, I think he was getting like 20 and 10 on a bad Brooklyn Nets team. You know, so I think Brooke Lopez will be a nice presence in Los Angeles. Uh, and Lakers have to cross their fingers and hope all the young guys can, can step it up. Julius Randle needs to take it to another level. Brandon Ingram needs to have a good sophomore season. You know, Lonzo Ball has to have a good rookie season for the Lakers to even stand a chance in free agency next summer, which is their whole plan. We'll see how that works out. But... As a Laker fan, I feel like I feel better about the Lakers now that their their ownership situation is intact. You know, Jeannie Buss finally taking taking control of things, and uh, you know, and they got fresh faces, inexperienced but fresh faces in the um, in the front office in former agent Rob Palinka and of course Magic Johnson. So we'll see how all that turns out. All right, there's Norman Powell for the Raptors. It feels like it looks like the Raptors are getting the band back together. One seventy four out of one ninety nine. Where did where did Paul Mill didn't he go? Where did Paul Millsap go? Utah. Did he stay with the Hawks. This guy will be pretty interesting next season. Bucks were a nice surprise team. Nug Denver, that's right. Millsap went to Denver. Uh, Dwight Howard, he got traded. 31 out of 99. He's, he's in Charlotte now. Nobody wants Dwight Howard anymore. Uh, that, goes, that still goes to the Hawks, though, Tommy. That goes to you. Oh, so does this. The maker of Thons as well, also a surprise. That Bucks team, pretty good. Oladipo, 34 out of 99. Gone in that Paul George deal, I'm pretty sure. Jamal Crawford, where does he end up? There's Nerland's Noel, 161 out of 199. And Elite Series, LaMarcus Aldridge, 22 out of 99. Red, that goes to the Spurs. Mike Coster with that one. And there's your autograph. Gorgie Niang goes to the Pacers. And that is for, who's got Andy? Andy, there you go, Andy. Autograph for you. It's Brandon Ingram, rookies. A lot riding on him.
Aldridge kind of disappeared in the what, Western Conference Finals, was it? If Kawhi Leonard was healthy for the Spurs, do they have a chance at winning? Do they do they have a chance of winning that series or would would they have just been delaying the inevitable? Oh, you think, Tommy, you think they probably would have won? Yeah, fully healthy Kawhi Leonard, 100%. Man, that's, it's crazy to think. But that's how it goes. I mean, the small, smaller rosters, you know, not too many, you know, not too many people on the floor. You know, one player can make that difference. You know, Kawhi Leonard... The difference maker in that in that series, I think so. Yeah, they couldn't stop him. It's a shame. What is it? What do, what do you guys, Tommy and everybody? What do you guys think about Chris Paul in Houston? Does that change? Does, does that change? The dynamics of the West at all? Is Chris Paul and James Harden enough to to advance Western Conference Finals? Finals, maybe? I mean, everything has to be... If your assumption is that... If your assumption is that you're going to have to go through Golden State at some point to get to the Finals, right? I mean, shouldn't you be trying to construct a team that can, that can stifle the Warriors because I have a feeling like Chris Paul so let's say Chris Paul you know let's say Chris Paul and James Harden can play together they play well together but you're asking Chris Paul and James Harden to match the offensive pace like you're trying to play the Warriors game at that point I don't know if that works maybe you kind of you maybe you have to zig while while everybody else is zagging you know what I mean like you kind of have to do something different from what the Warriors are doing to try to stop them. Like the Spurs are like a differently constructed team. Like that could be interesting. Right, and I agree, Tommy. Tommy's like, they added another guard. Now they have two stars who both need the ball to perform. And I think it's wrong just to move, just to get more firepower. Right, I just don't think, right. You're just like, hey, let's just add Chris Paul, you know? Let's just add a guy that delivers those stats right there. Okay, you know, but yeah, I think the plan might not quite have been been there. And right, George Hill, the Pacers traded Kawhi to get George Hill. That's got to be legendarily bad. Russell Westbrook, I mean, he's got to be happy that Paul George is there. 14 out of 49. That could be an interesting team out there too, Oklahoma City. Uh, that goes to Donald Brazier. Upside down Steph Curry. Kevin Durant, elite series, refractor, not numbered. Yeah, I don't like the matching of those players either. I don't know. I mean, hey, I mean, maybe, maybe coach thinks he can make it work. Nice Jalen Brown autograph for the Celtics. Jeremy thirty three with that one. Another Ben Simmons for the Sixers. Is that numbered? No, I don't think this one's numbered. No. Jimmy Butler moving on. So a lot of moves in the offseason. The landscape of... There's LeBron right there, too. That might be something, I'll value-wise. There's Rudy Gobert, last man standing so far in Utah. Oh, nice! Red Ben Simmons. 54 out of 99. What is this, like 50 bucks? <laughs> like, that's the crazy part about that Ben Simmons. Uh... Yesenia Lugo with that one. Got Pal Gasol. 113 out of 199. 
And Dwight Howard, orange. 113 out of 199 for Tommy Bowers. The uh, Gasol. Uh, Gasol goes to the Spurs, of course. Mike Coster with that one. I mean, seriously, someone look up Ben Simmons. I, I know at the at the height of that product of this product being released, these Ben Simmonses were going nuts. I'm I'm pretty sure a Ben Simmons out of 99 has got to go for like 50 bucks at this point, if not more. <laughs> ben Simmons might be the real deal. Sixers might be a dangerous team too, Tommy. Tommy's saying that the uh, T Wolves look like a, look dangerous this year. They do. You know, for some, for some, maybe it's because we have a lot of Wisconsin folk that are that are in our in our uh, stream and that buy from us regularly. But I kind of pull for the Bucks. Like I, I wish the Bucks, you know, just pulled the trigger on some sort of like some sort of free agent deal, like added a couple of pieces or something like that. I don't know what they've done yet in the offseason, but I wish they would have done something, you know, because I feel like they could be a surprise team. You know, there's a lot of basketball tradition in Milwaukee. Who was Ben Simmons? He was not. All right, last box, folks. Good luck. This is Pikachu Nard 13, just a third of a case. We've got the other two-thirds of the case already available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So check it out. He was not drawing Le – Ben Simmons was not drawing LeBron James comparisons at LSU. Is he even – I actually don't know how big he is. Is he even, like, the size of LeBron James? LeBron James is like a, is, is like a, a muscular, like, power forward who who has the, the speed and quickness of a uh, – of a point guard. I don't know if you could really do that. I actually don't know how big Ben Simmons is. Maybe he is similar size. Can't be though. Like who was who was giving him LeBron James like like LSU fans? He's like LeBron James, man. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. He's like LeBron James. That's not how they talk, but <laughs> that's more like a, it's like some dude in Southern California, some, some dude around here. I think that's just my generic college kid voice. Okay. All right, Onowaku and Tyreek Evans. ESPN was saying that? That's just crazy talk. What do you do with this guy? What do you do with this guy? This guy, already in Boston. There's this guy. This guy, playoffs, so it was a couple interesting games. This guy, if this guy stays healthy, that might be like a free agent signing for the Bucks. If you get him for the entire season and playoffs. There's Andre Roberson again. Uh, this time, 17 out of 199. Oklahoma City Thunder. Oklahoma. Donald with that one. Malcolm Brogdon. They, they, they've got a good young team out there. Champ is here, Mono Ginobili. 27 out of 99. Spurs going to Mike Coster. Yeah, he's... I didn't realize he was 6'10", I guess. He's big... Great ball handling, passing vision. And Stephen A. was the one who said, well, Stephen A. Smith. Got to take what he says with a grain of salt. Hasn't seen a player move like that since LeBron James. And Kuzminskas. Not Porzingis, sorry. But Kuzminskas. That's the last autograph of this four-box break. Quick little four-box break. That goes to the Knicks. That'll be Richard Sewell. Sheldon McClellan, 21 out of 49. Goes to the Wizards. That'll be Donald Brazier as well. There's Al Horford. There's, there's my boy Brandon Ingram and Zubach. No, no longer D'Angelo Russell. Pal Gasol for the Spurs. 97 out of 99. That goes to Mike Coster. There's Orange Julius. 
There's Draymond, Clay Thompson. There's Jeff Teague. Kyle Lowry and Dennis Schroeder for the Hawks. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, folks. That was Pick Your Team number 13, 2016-17 Donruss Optic Basketball. Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. Just a third of a case. We've got the other two-thirds in the store right now. Um, haven't seen, wasn't really a big monster hit in there, so there's got to be one hiding in there somewhere, so check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is Joe. Nice talking hoops with you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.